want to welcome everyone to this uh, MIS 6110 course, uh, Management Information Systems uh, for California Miramar University. My name is Dr. Richard Swafford, uh, and I will uh, be doing an overview of each of the chapters in this brief recorded uh, introduction. So let's go ahead and start with chapter one, or lesson one, from the material. Essentially, uh, information systems in today's business environment uh, provides a mechanism or a means for supporting the organization in a way that many other, or many other departments or agencies within the organization aren't, aren't uh, at, at a similar level. For instance, uh, information systems in the organization today is uh, evolving to the point where most businesses are not capable of really providing uh, the business services that they provide without some form of information systems. Therefore, understanding information systems as a business student, particularly as an MBA student, uh, is critical in order to be more effective uh, within the focus of the organization. So this course essentially will outline those requirements and those needs uh, and what you need to know in terms of terminology and processes from an information systems perspective. So let's talk a little bit about what information systems means within the organizational structure. First let's, let's define uh, some terminology here. You'll hear two terms that are generally used within, the, uh, within an organization. You'll hear information systems and you'll hear information technology. Now, traditionally, information systems was, uh, was the defined um, term used to describe an overall management of system structure within the organization. For example, I have a human resources system or I have an accounting or finance or manufacturing system. And information systems as a group, as an organization, was responsible for maintaining those. Today we use the term information technology almost interchangeably, but it's an important distinction to make. Information technology really relates to technology implementation across the scope of the organization, not necessarily systemic-based individual systems, but an overall scope uh, within the organization. So what you'll hear uh, when I, uh, in these in these recordings and these brief presentations, and you'll hear it in the classroom as well, is information technology or IT. The scope of IT within an organizational structure really depends on the organization itself. You know, I typically will ask a group of students the question, can business exist without technology? And oftentimes the answer is yes, although difficult, business can exist without technology, but on the, on the opposite side of that, can technology exist without business? And the reality is that without a justification, without a, a financial basis, without a goal, technology is very difficult to implement without some business justification. So in terms of <clears throat> defining the role of IT within an organizational structure, again, depends specifically on the organization and their needs. You'll see a variety of roles that information technology plays within the organization from typical support uh, activities such as maintaining systems, uh, uh, hardware we call break fix, you know, replacing computers, etc., up to larger or broader scope types of applications um, such as maintaining human resources, finance, manufacturing, those kinds of environments, uh, call centers, telephone environments, etc all the way up to the more advanced capabilities or the most more advanced uh, applications such as uh, process reengineering, redesigning uh, structures within the organization, determining what are the actual needs that the organization has related to their goals and then applying technology to those particular goals. Those kinds of sort of advanced capabilities are those that uh, an MBA student particularly should be able to understand and address and go forward not necessarily understanding the full scope of technology, but understanding how those needs are addressed and a solution in order to implement those needs. So that's kind of a broad scope of what information technology is. So from a, if you think about information technology as a group, typically within the organization, the structure of that group, and we'll go into more detail later on organizational structure, but the structure of that group essentially consists of those individuals within various structures. Now, if you think about a business structure as a pyramid, which uh, from a structural perspective most organizations are, with executive management, middle management, um, and uh, you know, maybe a layer of lower management and then employees, IT is structured much the same. 
where at the top typically you have a CIO or a chief information officer or a director of information technology. You usually have middle managers, IT managers, uh, system managers, etc. cetera. Uh, and then you'll have employee level or middle management employee level, which would include the, the different functions within an IT organization. Some of these different functions include database management, a DBA, for instance, a database administrator. Uh, it might include a network administrator or a systems administrator. Network administrator, obviously responsible for the infrastructure and the network structure. A systems administrator, obviously responsible on a broader scope for the systems themselves, that is, those larger uh, business applications. Uh, and then you're going to have help desk type technicians responsible for maintaining the systems on a break-fix level. Uh, and then other types of activities, such as project management, for instance, or programmers, developers, etc., all fit within that organizational structure. Now, it's important to consider that the size of that structure depends to a large extent on the size of the IT department. So uh, the IT department thus is, therefore, is also dependent on the size of the organization. So a larger organization will tend to employ more IT staff. A smaller organization will tend to employ less. In an organization where you have a smaller number of individuals, those individuals tend to take on more roles. So the distinction between those various categories becomes a bit blurred. So it's not uncommon <clears throat> to walk into a small organization and have two or three IT staff that do all of those functions across the board. So one of the key functions that uh, we need to review just briefly as it relates to chapter one is this concept of business process uh, activities. Uh, as I said earlier, one of the primary roles of IT is in integration or pulling together the needs of the business and applying technology solutions. From an integration perspective, it's important to understand that IT is one of those entities that is not just focused on one individual group. I always, uh, I always make a joke, I tell, my, I tell my boss that my needs are not my needs, my needs are your needs. From an organizational perspective, IT doesn't have any specific needs. The needs are based on organizational needs. For example, if manufacturing, the manufacturing group or the engineering group or accounting or HR comes and says, we have this particular business goal for the coming year, I then take that as a need to integrate their need with a technology solution. So where am I going with this? It's important to understand that while I'm developing those solutions, it's not in a vacuum. And from an IT perspective, because there's such a broad base of support across the organization from IT, that is, I don't just focus on HR, I don't just focus on manufacturing. When I integrate a solution or when the organization integrates a solution, it must cross those organizational boundaries. And so from an information technology perspective, it's important to consider that an application or an implementation of a system must cover the entire organization, not just one individual group. So we're going to talk more about that in this course and how those different groups integrate and how we apply solutions that embrace the entire organization, not just one individual group within the organization.